The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 726 The B-Team So what do you think Gazelle meant by calling our ship an official embassy, Maple asked, walking towards the middle of the party as they traversed the docks to the Immortal Dream. Depends if he means any official duties to come with it, Jordan mused. It could mean we're obligated to serve as a liaison whenever someone wants us to contact Anridge, but since Amber brought the other soundstone with her, we don't have that line of communication anymore, so it's likely not for that. It's despite someone else, Valet said, not missing a beat. You heard his tone, Bananas! I did this all the time in Einridge. You want to mess with someone? You take someone else they want to mess with and make it harder for them. And who knows how many eyes are on us now. Valet sounds right, Shinespark admitted, using her shoulder to support the weary bat pony. As far as we're concerned though, diplomatic protections are very strong. You remember Herman? If we had killed the Akakistan's ambassador and that news made it west without the rest of the story, it might really be grounds for a war. Maple suddenly paled. You don't suppose that Gazelle wants something bad to happen to us to increase tensions with Einridge? Valet well, raised an eyebrow. Nah, I doubt it. How would Einridge even find out about it for one? And if they did, their reaction probably wouldn't change at all over some formality like calling us an embassy. Not only that, Einridge has no standing army except a storm of troops already stuck there, and it's been months since Amber caught a ship going out. I'd be surprised if those dudes aren't on their way back yet. Basically, even if they did start a fight, it wouldn't do anything. Shinespark bit her lip. Are we really discussing this? What if someone wanted to make two powers hate each other? Herman might have done that, but it can't be normal for the world. Ponies have to be better than that. Maple winced. Sorry, it was just a thought that crossed my mind. I still have bad memories of... We all do, Shinespark consoled. And they're going to keep getting brought up as long as things like his volley keep happening. But we can't let that get us down. Jordan winked. That's the spirit. And for what it's worth, we do still have a certain something against the souls and ambushes. He nodded at Valet. But yes, Shinespark has the right of it. While we could mistrust someone and assume that because they can bring us harm, they will, we could assume that of most everyone we meet. And being a paranoid wreck helps no one. Yeah, Valet nodded. Felicity's on our side. If anything really bad goes down up above, she'd help us. We could get some warning, maybe get out of here. I was talking about... Uh, never mind. I dearly hope you're right, Jordan sighed. You know her best, so I've been trusting your judgment. But if it turns out she isn't for us, we've told her plenty more than enough to land ourselves in trouble. Before Valet could reply, they turned the final corner, the gangplank to the immortal dream mere steps away. She is, Valet promised as they boarded. We've got a pretty good understanding of each other. She might work for Gazelle and the Night Mother, but if push came to shove, she'd choose us over them. Maple hummed in hopeful assent. The ship's door opened, and the party trudged down the staircase and into the library, Valet making a beeline for her bed only to find the library full of every crew member since Crystal. Amber and Slipstream sat proudly together near Niala, and harsh water stood in the foreground, flanked by jam jars and glimmer. A large sack sat in front of the free, and the two fillies had very satisfied expressions. Do I want to ask? Valet raised an eyebrow. On command, Harshwater took the sack and overturned it, sending a cacophonous pile of gold coins big enough to cover jam jars spilling onto the floor. We made ourselves useful, jam jars proudly declared. Gerardo blinked. That's a very sizable amount of money. It's maybe a quarter of what we got from Kira's vault, Harshwater explained. So not like our wealth has increased exponentially. But with the way we've been going for expensive resources, she cleared her throat unsettled at Valet, we thought it would be useful to have a fast source of income. Give us several nights and we can get a lot more. Ah, uh, wow. Valet stared down at the gold. I mean, I got my back fixed, sorta, but that's actually...
actually really useful. Her wings twitched, the discolored remnants of her burns itching slightly. Two questions, Gerardo said. Is it dangerous? And is it illegal? Eh, Harshwater shrugged. It's honest, and amid everything this crew has done, it ranks very low on the danger scale. Yeah, dangerous wine dancing in place. Are you going to spill the beans, or can I? Harshwater smirked and patted her head with a wing, Glimmer sharing a similar look. Go ahead, kiddo. Jam Jars quickly adopted a brash grin. We turned the ship into a restaurant. Everyone blinked hard. You used my ship for what? Shinespark's pupils shrank in surprise. Valet was equally stunned. Wait! Jam Jars asks you for permission to speak? Jam Jars blew a raspberry. Glimmer fell over laughing. Amber and Slipstream clung to each other and even Harshwater got a smile. It was a trial run. We only had one night and didn't want to go too far, but airships aren't common in the Empire. It turns out Stormhoff has a lot of upper-class clients who are willing to answer to exorbitant sums for a chance at dinner in the sky. That's... Shinespark put a hoof to her forehead. I don't know whether to be mad or impressed. You need to ask before doing that with my ship. But it really worked this well? If you've never worked for nobility before, you'd be surprised, Harshwater replied. Your ship is fine. They're good at propriety. No noses poked where they don't belong. No damage or messes. With your approval, we'd like to continue. Valet shrugged. Hey! As long as I get a nap, I need a crash real bad. This is why you guys were flying around last night, though? Oh, you saw us, did you? Jam just grinned, tracing swirls with her hoof in the heap of coins. Harshwater nodded at both Valet and Shinespark. I'll need to talk with each of you about this later, but if you're tired, suit yourselves. Actually, I'd like a conversation right now, Shinespark decided, taking Harshwater's shoulder in her aura. My room, please. Valet, go get some rest. The noise of conversation in the library was quickly shut out as Shinespark closed her door, leaving just her and Harshwater in her large personal cabin. Tell me you know what I'm going to say, Shinespark requested after a breath. Harshwater's eyes shifted. If I did that, I'd be lying. In most reasonable hierarchical orders, you'd mean trouble. But the valet's been clear, the ship operates a little differently. So before you come down on anyone too hard, consider how happy contributing this made your crew. Did you see the pride in their eyes? The B team, everyone who gets left behind on important missions like testifying overnight to a government panel? I know how things are done by the books, and by them, we were in the wrong, but I also know how teams work, and I stand by everything we did. She stared Shinespark straight in the eye. Shinespark blinked. Well? Harshwater frowned expectantly, breaths even. Um, sorry. Shinespark folded her ears and looked down. I was about to underestimate you. I'd still like it if you asked before using my ship in the future, but you did well. Thank you. Harshwater bowed and... Shinespark lifted her chin. It will be up to you if we want to do anything further with this, but you should consider that we have a lot of crew members with a lot of free time. It's good for our morale and very profitable, and it also gives us a good reputation among citizens who have money and influence, but aren't necessarily tied to politics. Hopefully, this will be good news amid everything else you're dealing with. Right. Shinespark squared her shoulders, glancing at the door. I won't keep you then. I'll have to tell everyone else I'm proud of them too. End of chapter 726